Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick video talking about the instruments I use for the channel. I'm going to be giving a short review and a little bit of the history behind each instrument. First of all, I have a Kentucky A-style mandolin. One day I decided to do some research on what would be the best intermediate level mandolin. I found great reviews for this Kentucky Mandolin, and it is the one I bought. Honestly, I could not be happier with the construction, the action, and basically everything about this Mandolin is perfect for what I needed for the channel. A really good deal. I got it from Amazon. It come in just perfect. I'm super happy with it. Next is this Recording King that I bought from a local music shop. It's part of a reproduction of 1930s style guitars. And I gotta say, when I picked it up at the music shop, I had to have it. This is just an excellent instrument. I could not be happier with the price, the action, everything about it. I really have nothing negative to say about it. I'm very, very pleased with this instrument. It actually sounds better than a more expensive guitar that I bought. Um, I also ordered that one off of Amazon and I had to send it back. But when I picked up this Recording King, I knew it belonged with me. Next is the Deering Good Time Tenor Banjo. I gotta say, out of all the instruments, I would say this is probably my most favorite. It's a lot of fun to play. The name Good Time speaks for itself. I bought it from the same music shop as this guitar. It's another one of those that I picked up and I played it some and I actually went home that day. And then the next day I went right back to the music shop and picked it up because I knew I had to have it. And it certainly has been the right tenor banjo for me. Next is this gold tone travel banjo. This is a smaller size banjo. It was actually given to me by a friend. And I got to say, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's, it's, it's not as loud or projecting as most banjos. But maybe that's a good thing because it's not loud enough to disturb other people uh, or cause an issue with uh, volume. And um, with it being such a smaller size, it's certainly a lot easier to carry around and a lot easier to travel with. I keep this one tuned in the key of A. It seems to project a little better, and I enjoy the feel of the strings when it's tuned in the key of A. I got some videos coming up with that one, too. Next is the... Romanian Mandola. I ordered this off of eBay and uh, it was the only one in America that didn't have to be shipped overseas and I won this one on bids. Got a really good deal on it too. Very happy with this instrument. I do have some issue with the Mandola because it seems that the scale and a lot of the notes are very similar to what you could probably get out of the tenor banjo or the guitar but it has a certain depth to it that the other instruments don't exactly mimic as well. It's basically the most different of all of the instruments that I have. I'm actually struggling to find a place for it. It has a very unique sound, and I will have more videos of it in the future, but I'm actually more impressed with the look of the instrument than anything else. This design here on the front, I think, is one of its best qualities. And lastly, I have this Appalachian dulcimer that I took the strings off of and I keep hanging here on the wall. I decided to buy this instrument from Guitar Center online a long time ago. And I said, well, if I don't like it, I'll just hang it on the wall. And here it is on the wall. Well, guys, that's the story of the instruments here for the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or need any ideas or a little bit of input on maybe what kind of instrument that you're looking for, just mention it in the comments below. I'll be glad to talk to you guys about it. All of these instruments are great. I enjoy them. And hopefully there will be a lot more content with these instruments in the future. See you guys in the next video.